Hello guys, it's Doreen hosting and once more, welcome to my YouTube channel where you get to learn more about life skills, motivation and relationships. If this is the first time you're tuning to my channel, thank you so much for finding time to be with me. Please remember to subscribe. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for the love and support you've shown me so far. It's my hope you're doing great wherever you are. In today's topic, marriage is not a band of roses. Uh, so I got to listen to Sarah Kabu as she was having a conversation with Lewis Tina. And at some point, I found myself thinking about the marriage institution and why um, it is said that marriage is not a band of roses. So I will be discussing the topic marriage is not a band of roses and why it's not a band of roses but before that i want to say that uh, sarah kabu is a woman that i admire so so much she is my role model and i know she is also a role model to other women because uh, sarah is an intelligent hand-working honest humble woman who is committed to her work and also focused and to some point, a story really touched me. And I think it takes a lot of confidence uh, to come out boldly like she did, bearing in mind that she is a celebrity. But what people don't understand is that even celebrities are human beings with feelings, with emotions, and they also go through some of the things that we normal people go through. So for me, I think whatever Sarah is going through, anyone can go through that. So people actually should support her in prayers. They should not judge her because um, she has the wearer of the shoe and she knows where it hurts the most. So when she said that marriage is not a band of roses, I found myself thinking, but it does not mean that this is the first time I'm hearing this statement that marriage is not a band of roses. I have heard the statement over and over again, and I want to believe that um, the reason as to why marriage is not a band of roses, I want to look at it literally where when you look at the roses they are very beautiful and they are very attractive in real life situation i, I would want to compare the roses and the marriage why are the two being compared it is because roses are beautiful and also marriage is something beautiful you will agree with me in the beginning when two people come together, there is a lot of love. So it's a nice feeling. It's a beautiful thing. But uh, on the other hand, when you look at the roses, we are seeing that they got some thorns. Meaning now, marriage is something beautiful, but it, it still have got challenges and problems. The challenges that the two people who have come into heat have to find a way to strike a balance in solving the challenges and the problems that come their way. Like I normally tell people, there is no marriage that is perfect because no marriage is made in heaven. So even the beautiful marriage or the beautiful couple that you have ever admired, at some point they can face challenges that may break them and tear them apart. For me, I also want to agree that marriage is not a band of roses. And this is because um, when two people come together, they are bringing with themselves a different personalities these two people are imperfect because uh, we are saying they are no perfect people so these people have got weaknesses and faults so to live with someone with weaknesses and faults you will agree with me that sometimes it can be something very challenging and um, it requires a lot of patience and tolerance 
and as you're trying your best to understand your partner and to be able to strike a balance and maybe even help them to minimize the weaknesses and the faults, you may realize along the way you may get overwhelmed, get exhausted, uh, sometimes you may come out broken and hurt and even in the process you may lose yourself along the way. You will also realize as you continue living with your partner and uh, you want them to change. As much as you want your partner to change, you will agree with me sometimes it is difficult to change a person. This is because their character and behavior or their personality is already formed. And to change them, it will it may involve a lot of work. You will agree with me to change a person is difficult because um, change does not just happen. It also requires your partner to make a decision that they want to change because uh, change should come from the inner self. So not unless your partner makes that decision that he or she wants to change for good or for better, then as much as you're trying to change him or her, it may not work. So not unless he or she makes that inner decision that I want to change, you cannot change that person. And therefore now, this one makes it even more difficult to live with this person. So as you continue working and praying and waiting patiently, and being tolerant that one day your partner uh, will change, the change may take a longer time and uh, you realize um, because we are human beings, along the way you may run out of patience. Another thing that makes marriage more complicated is the fact that it involves two people and these two people have got roles and responsibilities to perform. So if one of the partners fail in fulfilling his or her responsibilities, then that marriage will be faced with the challenges. So it doesn't matter how well one of the partner may carry out his or her responsibilities and duties. So if the other partner is failing in his or her duties, then there is a gap. And that gap automatically will bring challenges. So to the partner who is active, you realize at some point he or she may get demotivated or even overwhelmed because um, the other partner is not uh, carrying out his or her responsibilities the way he or she is supposed to. So you realize now uh, the other partner may see that uh, this person is not concerned at all uh, or does not take things serious and along the way the other partner may give up. Another aspect that makes marriage more complicated is the fact that there are no schools that teach about marriage. So different people find themselves in marriages and they do or practice what they think is the best thing that should be done. Other people behave uh, depending on um, the opinions or perceptions of other people regarding marriage. Others will even uh, get uh, books concerning marriage. They read the books and now come and try to practice what they read. But uh, in some context, Whatever they rent may not be applicable because um, the situations are different. It is said there are no two marriages that are the same. People are different. And the language and behavior in one marriage may be very different from the behavior and language of another family of another marriage. So if you bring the principles of this one marriage to this other marriage, it may not work because um, these people are different. 
So for me, what I can say, anyone who is getting or planning to get into marriage, they need to bear in mind that uh, marriage requires a lot of handwork and sometimes it will bring with itself challenges, challenges that requires maybe a lot of patience and tolerance. So anytime you walk in marriage, bear in mind that uh, you've actually started a problem that uh, you may not get a solution anytime soon. So be ready to commit yourself. Be ready to give it your best. Be ready to be honest to your partner, to love and care for your partner, and also be kind to your partner. Corinthians talks about love being patient, love being kind, love is not jealous, love is not arrogant, and so many other things about love. So if you do all that, you commit yourself, you pray, you're patient, you give your best, and uh, still it does not work, I think now it is the high time because you too have got a right to walk away from all that abuse and so search yourself, understand yourself so that you can really know what you want in life. And during that time, it will also give your partner time to think of what he or she wants and also to rethink your position in their life. So do they want to continue with you in their life? So after that period now of soul searching, you can now make a decision because no one can advise you concerning your heart matters because uh, you're the one who is in it and you're the one who knows where it hurts the most. So for me, what I can say, before walking away, give it your best. Give it your best by committing yourself. Because once you give it your best, even when you walk away, you never be guilty of anything. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find this content helpful, please remember to share with other people so that they can see the video as well. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.